This story was published by T.W. Patterson at the Kanichan Valley Citizen on Jan. 2015. The Cowichan Valley is a region around the Cowichan River and Cowichan Lake on Vancouver Island, in British Columbia, Canada. It was that a front-page newspaper article of September 5, 1908. Entitled, A Message from Mars, It's So Fascinating That It's Worth Quoting in Its Entirety, Willie McKinnon, the 14-year-old son of Mr. Angus McKinnon underwent a most startling experience and had a miraculous escape from death on last Thursday morning. Artist likeness while working in his father's garden about half past 11 o'clock, a meteor about 10 inches in diameter was hurled through space and buried itself in the ground about 8 feet from where the boy was standing. The meteor could be heard from for several minutes before it struck the earth, but the land thinking it was a train passing, took no notice until the celestial visitor struck the earth, sending the rocks flying in every direction and causing an effect like an earthquake in that vicinity. The boy was naturally greatly alarmed at the occurrence and rushed into the house to acquaint his parents with the very strange happening. On visiting the spot it was found that the meteor was intensely hot, and not for over half an hour could it be handled. The meteor roar whatever it was that fell was almost as round as a marble and the surface was deeply scored with what resembled hieroglyphics. The meteor had passed through the branches of two trees in its flight, snapping them off like matches. It fell at an angle of about 45 degrees and was traveling in a northwesterly direction when it struck the earth. Mr. McKinnon has spent most of the time since the incident in trying to interpret the meaning of the markings on the stone and will be glad if someone who has a knowledge of these things, will try to help him out. A month later, it was reported that the Department of Mines, Geological Survey, in Ottawa, was seeking fuller particulars than those contained in the, Cowich and Leader, Dispatch, the time of day the nature of the sounds emitted by the falling body, their duration and the direction from which they seemed to come, the depth of the hole and the nature of the soil as well as the direction in which the earth was thrown by the impact. 